Hi, my name is Oliver and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be about our modular gangway. We have six sizes available and here's a list of them. Every gangway is packaged in box like this one here. Really nice for shipping, all protected inside. And if you're a Ken Dog dealer, it's a nice way to store a gangway into a minimal amount of space and it keeps the aluminum in the perfect condition. They do come in boxes, so they require assembling. That's what this video is all about. And here's a list of the tools that you're going to need for this job. A drill, two wrench, 716 in size, and a rubber mallet. And if you're not comfortable using any of those tools, uh, we strongly recommend wearing safety gear. Okay, we're back in the warehouse. Uh, two quick things. I'm not in, in this video, I'm not going to cover any accessories that goes on a modular gangway. Uh, please check the description below if you want to be uh, redirected to other video. And second of all, we're going to uh, assemble a 4x12, which is the longest one, the widest one. With uh, this video, you should be able to assemble any other modular gangway. Okay, now let's open the box. Okay, so in the box, you're going to have four corners, aluminum corners. And there's going to be a little bag with every hardware that you're going to need for this. We'll leave it on the table for now. Notice that I'm using wood stand. Uh, aluminum is really easy to scratch. If you have aluminum or steel uh, stand, you should uh, just cover them up. Okay, so in the box, you're gonna have four extrusion aluminum, like this one here. This is the actual gangway, the, 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 the edge of the gangway. And you're gonna have the inner part, which are two by one. Uh, and we're, we're going to start by that. So we're going to put the extrusion on side. Um, you notice there's a notch here. This is for this two by one to go in there. Uh, holes there, and you can see there's a little hole in the underneath there. It's going to it's going to match. In order to be easy to enter, because it's a little snug, I'm going to put it backward. Just gonna press to make the aluminum bend and it will fit right in. Do the same thing here. There we go. Now it's time to open the little bag. You're gonna have four boat uh, like that two inches and a half uh, brass nut on the top here. Okay. We're gonna put a second bolt on the other side with a little washer. Just gonna realign the hole. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for the other piece here. Just make sure it goes underneath. Here, and like that. At this point, we're going to use our two wrench, seven by 16. When you see that the, the gap here is filled, that the aluminum is touching, 
Just apply an, a, a little pressure and it's good enough. There we go. We won't need the wrench anymore. There are no sides with these beams, so this one could go here or could go on the other side. There's no left or right. I'll put this one here. You're gonna notice that there are a hole on this beam here and on the two by one, you just need to align those like that. Okay, so now we're gonna use the bit and the screws that were provided in the bag. And we're going to screw those pins in the hole And let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's flip this on the other side. Okay, now we'll need to put those uh, on the front or on the back by putting the corners first just by hand like that and we're going to make them fit in the notch at the end of the two by one just like that for now we're going to put the corner here and the other one right here okay so now we'll do this part here and we'll start with the corner and now this one and make sure it fit in the lip there and there we go we're gonna use the rubber mallet and knock them in place uh, like that. Okay, so now the corner is well placed. We're going to use the drill bit with the drill to uh, drill two holes in the frame here. So, there we go. So there we go, all four corners are secured. All the metal frame is secured. There's only one last step and we have to flip the gangway upside down again. Now, if you take a look here, there's two more holes, one there and one there, and there's gonna be two more on the other side that we haven't put the screws in yet. If I show you here, there's another hole on the, the lip here of the gangway. So you need to align this. We're just gonna use the drill. And this is to secure this long piece here to prevent to move from left to right. So 
So here we are, this is a 4 by 12 modular gangway frame. Uh, can easily do it a one man job, it takes less than 10 minutes. That's how you do it. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.